Hello, this is Dan Dowd from Genomind. I'm really excited to share with you our latest innovation here at Genomind, known as GenMed Pro. GenMed Pro is our patent-pending medication management software that works in partnership with our pharmacogenetic test, Genomind Professional PGX. This digital tool was designed to sync with your patient's test results to help you identify potentially harmful drug-drug and gene-drug interactions. It assesses critical genes from your patient's report against 95% of the most commonly prescribed medications. Now you can manage the full medication profile across top health conditions. This is especially important for your comorbid polypharmacy patients. Today I'm going to show you how to access this software in the clinician portal, outline the basic functionality, and walk you through a few examples that you might encounter in your practice. So let's get started. Let's start with how to find and access GenMed Pro. When your patient's report is ready, you will select the results tab, click on the practice for that particular patient, and simply click your patient's information to view their full profile. You will actually see on your results tab to the left here, an interaction alert that may require your attention. Once you select your desired patient, their profile page will appear allowing you to download their report schedule a consult, and of course, access our new GenMed Pro software. For our legacy users, this layout may feel a little different than before. Before we start working with the tool, let's go over some basic features. As I mentioned, our tool includes 95% of the most commonly prescribed medications across all health conditions, not just psychiatric meds. We've included critical genes related to metabolism, absorption, and sensitivity. Those genes include CYP450, UGT, and P glycoprotein that influence drug exposure, and HLA genes which influence risk for drug-induced skin reactions. We also allow you to factor in environmental factors that may impact drug levels, such as smoking and coffee. Unlike most drug interaction checkers, GenMed Pro evaluates all drugs and genes at once, instead of breaking your med profile into pairs of interactions. This makes evaluating multiple interactions easier. Under each drug, you will notice a few tabs. If there is an interaction alert, you will see an automatic ranking of alternative medications. You'll see another tab with interaction details. We also see a tab providing direct access to the most up-to-date FDA, CPIC, and DPWG guidelines. Finally, we do offer a number of EMR integration opportunities. Speak to your local rep for more information on that. Let's start by looking at the basics of the layout. Any drugs you entered in the patient's digital requisition form will automatically be included. But if you did not include medications or need to retroactively add medications, you can simply add or remove them in this field here. Below this, you'll notice these check boxes for environmental factors, smoking and coffee consumption. You'll notice we also provide an option for you to print or view the history of your entries. Here is your patient's gene profile displayed here. This patient specific profile will help you evaluate interactions for your unique patient. Below that, you'll notice a few symbols. For example, the arrows represent predicted changes in drug exposure. The higher, moderate, or lower risk icons are an estimate of the magnitude of these interactions. We will look at some of these other icons later as we go through different scenarios. Let's take a look at our first example. For most of these interactions, GenMed Pro will generate an up or down arrow based on the influence of all genes and all drugs on the target drug. And then it will estimate the severity of that interaction. Let's see. In this example, we have a 2D6 poor metabolizer and a UGT 2B15 intermediate metabolizer. Aripiprazole generates a higher risk interaction, increase in blood levels. Lorazepam generates a moderate risk interaction, increase in blood levels. The causal factors column identifies the perpetrator of this interaction. 
and the Interaction Details section provides a more granular view of all interaction pathways. Let's look at a more complicated interaction that incorporates both drug-drug as well as drug-gene interactions. We'll add valproic acid to this drug regimen. We see that the lorazepam icon goes from moderate to higher risk. Looking at the interaction details, we see that not only is this individual's genetic profile influencing lorazepam, but valproic acid is further increasing blood levels via a drug-drug interaction. GenMed Pro provides a composite evaluation of drug-drug and drug-gene interactions. Let's go back to aripiprazole for a second. GenMed Pro has alerted us to a potential higher risk interaction, but it would be nice if we had some more specific guidance on what to do about that interaction. Well, let me introduce you to the PGX Guidance tab. Clicking this will provide you with detailed guidance from one of three sources, the FDA, CPIC, or DPWG. The FDA maintains a table of pharmacogenetic biomarkers and associations, and we have curated them for you right here in GenMed Pro. CPIC is a global consortium of pharmacogenetic researchers that standardizes pharmacogenetics and publishes peer-reviewed guidelines. DPWG can be thought of as the European equivalent to CPIC. So in our aripiprazole example, you can see that the FDA label recommends a 50% dose reduction in this individual who is a CYP2D6 poor metabolizer. The green link will bring you to the actual source of this guidance. DPWG has a guideline as well. Sometimes recommendations may be different between the different sources. So use your best clinical judgment in those instances. While it's great to understand these complex interactions, we also want to have some guidance on alternatives that may present a less risky interaction. Our alternative medications tab will generate a list of related medications ranked by their risk of pharmacokinetic interactions. Using lorazepam as an example, we can see that alprazolam or clonazepam are two benzodiazepines with a cleaner drug-drug, drug-gene interaction profile. You can select the replace button if you want to add this medication to the current drug list. Of course, other patient factors should always be taken into account since GenMed Pro only assesses CYP450, UGT, and p glycoprotein interactions. Looking at alternatives for aripiprazole, notice that we can change our alternative drug list categories or classes. We can replace our list of second generation antipsychotics with first generation antipsychotics. And again, these will be ranked by the interaction severity. We can also adjust our drug categories. Since aripiprazole is identified as an antipsychotic, or a bipolar agent, or an antidepressant, those categories are all options. Take a look. As if this wasn't interesting enough, we can also factor in our pharmacodynamic genes. In particular, HLA-B1502 and HLAA3101. These will help us identify those patients at higher risk of serious skin reactions with carbamazepine, oxcarbazepine, phenytoin, or lamotrigine. Watch what happens when we add lamotrigine to this drug profile. Finally, let's play with the environmental factor feature. If we add olanzapine to the drug profile and click smoking, you will notice a down arrow. Smoking can decrease blood levels of olanzapine. Hopefully this overview was helpful to get you started. Remember our clinical staff of PharmDs and PhDs are here to help you every step of the way. If you're still having issues or have questions, please schedule a consult or contact us via the on-demand hotline during normal business hours. 
We hope you'll take advantage of the software. We built this with the intention of helping you elevate your prescribing process so you can make safer medication choices for your patients. For more info, visit genamine.com. Thanks for watching.